The UK has decided to ride out COVID, according to Boris Johnson. Do you agree with what he's doing? He feels the plan B is enough and the NHS, although it's under incredible pressure, will actually be able to cope and ultimately the cases will go down. There's obviously people that argue in the other direction, but Boris wants to fight through. And in fact, he said it's war footing for the NHS. So the UK striving to keep its economy going, keep the wheels going. Obviously, it's got issues with Brexit and what that's causing with its exports to Europe. And it wants to really try and keep the economy going so that people are financially okay and have the opportunity, perhaps mentally more strong, to be able to go to work, do the things that they need to do, rather than to lock down again. China's gone the opposite, as we know. It's got a zero COVID policy. Do you agree with that? There's two cities, second city now, just locked down in China. And potentially this, of course, causes a problem in itself for China. Right now, there's food shortages, there's other shortages, and it could cause a further supply chain issue for the rest of the world. So you've got zero COVID policy in China, where they're really saying, we want to make sure we get zero, chase it. They're not going for the vaccination in the massive numbers that the UK are and the boosters, they're going in the opposite direction. Of course, from the world economy point of view, we know that China has a massive effect. So as financial advisors, we actually look at both. We'll look at the UK. Is that going to work? It looks like it might, but we'll keep a strong eye on it. I actually feel that China perhaps has more pressure on it because of its zero policy. Certainly, some people in China aren't happy. And of course, we know the Chinese, they like to control the country. And in fairness to them, 1.4 billion people, there's arguments to say they need to control it as they are. But again, it's open to people to argue differently and have different opinions on it, as many will do. From a financial point of view, does it affect stock? Is there a problem that China causes with supply issues because of the continuation of lockdowns? On the positive you've got, Beijing Olympics coming up. Are China just doing it because they want the prestige of the Beijing Olympics to go ahead in a month's time? So in other words, you've got this lockdown. They want to make sure they get everything under control. And then they want to produce this incredible Winter Olympics in Beijing and be seen to the world to have an incredible country. Again, we watch with interest. It does affect the financials and I'll keep you informed on my YouTube channel. So hit subscribe, hit like. For me, I'm looking at stock that are affected. In other words, where the supply chains are an issue. And if China locks down, they become a bigger issue. And of course, there are some companies that actually gain when you've got these supply chain issues. So I'm watching with interest. I'll put out information. We talked about semiconductors in the past. We'll talk about other things there. And also we look at, do people, do the ordinary person, do they rebel against their governments? Do they feel the governments have actually not handled this correctly? And of course, that means that people do go for alternatives. It does look then that people go towards things like uh, uh, cryptocurrencies. They look at things where they feel that they're in personal control rather than their governments in control. Okay, always there's something happening in the world. And of course, we look and we see and we try and spot the opportunities for investors so they know exactly where they can put their money. Hit like, hit subscribe, watch my YouTube channels. I'll put out information, help you make a better investment decision. Talk to a financial advisor, but talk to the advisor with knowing something about what's going on in the world, what's going on in the markets. Hope you liked the video. Hope I've gained, you've given you something. Hit the like if you feel that you've gained some value from the video.